Oh, hi again. Right, going to desolder uh, an iPod Touch uh, to headphone jack socket. This is my uh, layout, uh, my Weller soldering station and Weller desolder station. Uh, and this is the um, tool I use for desoldering. I've got this ramped up to around about 400 degrees uh, with a medium sized nozzle. Uh, the button there actually applies the suction. So when I put this on uh, a solder joint, uh, as soon as the solder flows or melts, I press the button and it just sucks it off the board. Okay, this is what it's like. Now I'll just put some suction on there. Okay, um, for those of you who had noticed, um, the solder iron was ramped up to 450 degrees C. Um, I will not be using that heat. Um, I will actually take that down to around about 350 degrees C when I uh, come to use it. But the desolder station, that will be up at 400 degrees C, uh, simply because, um, unlike a solder tip, you can't really keep uh, the tip of that uh, soldered up uh, so therefore uh, heat transference doesn't take place because you can't have well you can't retain solder on the the end of it anyway uh, we have just unscrewed the jack I'm just prying it out prior to um, uh, getting the C desolder gun on it now with the desolder gun um, you need to observe if you if you're lucky enough to have one of these um, as soon as you see the solder melt, you just press the button and straight off the board. I actually picked this um, solder station up from eBay for eighty pounds. What's that in dollars? Well, one twenty, one one ten. Anyway, uh, if you watch this, uh, bring the uh, tip down onto the first one. You'll see it flow, and then just press the button. As soon as you see it flow, press the button. Get it out. Okay, there's five connections there on the uh, sword jack. Now the last one, and this one's difficult um, because you've got some uh, tiny uh, resistors and caps on the board there. Okay, right, that's not the end of it. You can't just lift it out. Uh, you have to um, basically just use uh, a solder iron now to just gently... Um, ease it away. Now, I, I'm lucky I have the desolder station, but it does make things a lot easy because if you're just using a solder iron, believe you me, you think you've got it detached from the, the board, but you've formed a bridge between the, the solder because there's too much solder there and it just forms a bridge. Uh, so you can end up lifting pads off the, off the board. So the, the thing here is to be as quick as you possibly can in and out as possible as fast as you possibly can I'm just going to uh, touch up these terminals slightly because we've got a few raised uh, points there just touch it up okay so that's it we're all ready to uh, apply um, a new headphone jack socket um, that will be in the next video um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please, please subscribe to me if you found this of um, interest. Take care. Bye-bye.